Alrighty then guys, we are back today with another vlog and it's going to be my Premier League predictions for the weekend. For those of you that follow me on Twitter, you'll realise that I've had a couple of good wins on the accumulators in the last few games. And on Wednesday night I won £98, on last Saturday I think I won £62. So things are going pretty well at the moment. It's pretty much evoked me to start off this little series every Friday of bringing you guys my Premier League predictions for the weekend. So without any further ado, I'm going to get into it. So QPR versus Norwich is the first game on my screen. And under Harry Redknapp it was an unbeaten January with uh, I think it was six points from four games. Not losing a game, including a great win away at Chelsea. So I think QPR, they're going in the right direction now. And even though they're bottom of the table, I still I still taught them to stay up. And I think they're going to snatch this one 1-0. One Norwich, they've been in a really bad run of form recently. They had a good draw against Tottenham on Wednesday night. But I think QPR, they're going to win this and they're going to snatch it 1-0. The next game is Arsenal versus Stoke. In the past, Arsenal haven't really had the best sort of form against Stoke, but I think today and the weekend, I think they're going to win 3-0. I think it's going to be a convincing win for Arsenal. They they played reasonably well recently. It was a good comeback against Liverpool, but they just haven't been getting the results. And I think they're going to have way too much at the Emirates for Stoke. I'm going to say 3-0. Everton versus Aston Villa. Well, on Tuesday night, I was seeing a lot of tweets saying, cut for Villa, it's getting that bad under Paul Lambert for Aston Villa right now. They just seem to have no substance whatsoever. Their defenders, they're all, I think, less than six foot tall, the centre-backs, and that is not what you want to have against big Premier League strikers. And I think that Everton, they, they're playing really well. They're unbeaten in four games. It was a good January, eight points from a possible 12. I think they're going to win this, and I think they're going to win it quite convincingly as well. It's very rare that we see Everton just completely smashing teams for five or six, but I think 3-1 to Everton at Goodison Park is going to be the score in this one. The next game... Oh, wow. Newcastle versus Chelsea. Of course, I'm a Chelsea fan for those of you that didn't know. But I'm going to be realistic about this one. We are not playing well at all. I think that Benitez is getting it all wrong at the moment in terms of his substitutions. Think what you want about Rafa Benitez. He was a good manager at Liverpool. He's proven elsewhere. But in terms of what he's doing at Chelsea, <laughs> honestly, I'm completely baffled. It was at the game at Wednesday night against Reading. And the fact he took Matter off, even though he was pretty much pulling all the strings in the game, he took Torres off when we're 2-1 up for Denver Bar in the last few minutes and we ended up drawing the game. I think his decision making has been poor and I think Newcastle now with a few new signings, a great win away at Villa on Tuesday night. I think this one's going to be a close one. I think it's going to be 1-1. Chelsea's away form it has been pretty good except for Wednesday night and obviously last weekend in the cup against Brentford. But I, ca I can't see us winning this one. I think Newcastle, they're looking on the up now. They've made some good signings and I'm going to say 1-1 for this fixture. Reading versus Sunderland. Wow, I want to say Reading. On Wednesday night, the comeback was brilliant. It was spirited. They didn't really have any sort of impact in the game until about five minutes ago. Adam Lafondra, I don't know why this guy doesn't start. If you don't, if you think that Adam Lafondra should start as well, let me know in the comments down below. But I think Reading, Sunderland as well, they've pretty much upped their game as well in January with a couple of decent wins, scoring goals as well, which is something we haven't seen from Sunderland this season. But I think the way that Reading are going at the moment, they're really starting to grind out performances. They're starting to grind out results. And I think it's going to be a close one, but I think Reading are going to snatch it 1-0 in this fixture. Moving on to West Ham versus Swansea. Wow, there's not really much more we can say about Swansea this season apart from the fact they have been absolutely fantastic. Apart from the ball boy incident, but we're not going to talk about that for much longer. I think West Ham, there's been a few sort of dire performances recently. They've been getting results this season at home, but recently it just seems to have crumbled. They don't really seem to have any substance going forward. So I'm going to say the Swansea are going to snatch this away win 2-1. It's a bit of a long shot, this one. It could come out either way, but I think Swansea, 2-1. They're playing some good football at the moment. They've had a good run of results. They're still in the League Cup final as well. And I think they're probably going to beat Bradford. So I think it's going to be a great season for Swansea. And I'm going to pip them to win that 2-1. Wigan versus Southampton, not probably the standout fixture of the weekend, sorry for any Wigan Southampton fans watching this, but you never know what you're going to get from Wigan. One day they'll turn up and they'll give the big boys an absolute cracking game, the next week they'll turn up and they just look as if they don't want to be there, they look like a championship side, and I think Southampton, they've been improving in January as well, they're unfortunate in my opinion to not really come away with anything more on Wednesday night against Manchester United, they lost 2-1. And I'm going to say Southampton are going to snatch an away win here, 1-0. I think it's going to be a game where there's going to be pretty much limited chance. It's going to be congested in the middle of the park. But I think Southampton are going to come away with it with a 1-0 win. Fulham versus Manchester United, the repeat of last weekend's FA Cup fixture, apart from this time, is at Craven Cottage. I think it was a great win for Fulham against West Ham on Wednesday night, 3-1. There's been a few bad results going around Fulham recently as well. So I think that was a big, big win for them. But United, you can just never look any further than Manchester United. Every single game they play, you expect them to win. Even if they're down with five minutes to go, there's always going to be someone. Hernandez, Rooney, Van Persie, that's going to come up with a late goal and going to come up with the goods. And I think it's going to be a close game. I think that Fulham away has also been a nemesis for Manchester United in the past. But I'm going to say a 2-1 United win. I think they're going to have way too much for Fulham once again. And I'm going to say a Van Persie brace as well because the guy is just absolutely phenomenal. I haven't seen a striker as good as Robin Van Persie for many, many years. I'm probably going to say since Thierry Henry. I think he is that good. 
But um, West Brom versus Tottenham Hotspur at the Hawthorns. I think that Spurs, they're going in the right direction. I think AVB's got it exactly where he wants to be right now. Maybe a few signings are needed as well. I'm recording this on the Thursday. Maybe they might sign a striker tonight. But I'm still going to say that Tottenham are going to win this. West Brom have been in a woeful run of form despite that 2-1 win on Wednesday night. I think Spurs are going to have too much. And I'm going to say a 1-0 win. I don't think it's going to be the best game of football. But I think Tottenham are going to come away with a win. They're still looking for Champions League. They're currently sat in fourth place. And I think Spurs are going to nick this one. Man City versus Liverpool. Probably the standout fixture of the weekend. And Liverpool, they've been coming back recently. They had a good 5-0 win against Norwich last week. They were unfortunate not to win at the Emirates on Wednesday night. But I think that away at Manchester City, City defensively recently, they've been fantastic. Not conceding a goal in January. And I think they're going to win this one 2-0. I think it's going to be a comfortable home win. I think Liverpool are going in the right direction. And some people are saying that maybe they might even snatch a top four spot. But I can't look any further than Manchester City. I'm afraid for City fans, I think you probably did concede the title by not winning at Queen's Park Rangers on Tuesday night. And United obviously winning at home to Southampton. A seven point lead for United. It's a pretty big lead. And they don't, they don't usually give away leads like that. It's happened in the past. But I think City, all they can do is just focus on their own results. And I think they're going to win this one 2-0. And that pretty much does finish off my predictions for the weekend. I will leave at the end of this video sort of a screen with all of my predictions on it so that if you guys missed any of them and you want to see my actual score predictions again, they will be all there at the end of this video. If you enjoyed it, please be sure to leave it a like rating. And if you want me to carry this on every week, then be sure to let me know in the comment section as well. But thank you for watching, guys, and good luck if you put any bets on. If you win, I don't know, hundreds of pounds from what I've just told you, send me a beer in the post, send me a token or something. I don't know, what whatever people send people these days. But yeah, I'll speak to you soon. Peace.